Let's move on and look at how you can control who can see and who can edit the views in your dashboard. As an example, let's suppose that we want all of the developers in our organisation to be able to edit this new view, but we want to stop them from being able to see the business view. So to do that, we need to manage the permissions on our views, which we do by going up to the configure menu and selecting manage views. Now first of all, we'll stop them from being able to view the business view. To do this, we head into the Actions menu for the business view and select Manage Permissions. Now you can see in here that there are some default permissions already in place. I'll explain where those come from a little bit later, but the change we want to make here is to stop the developers being able to see this view business. At the moment, in the Users box, we have the special subject All Authenticated Users. This means that any user who logs into the dashboard will be able to see the business view. So we need to remove this special subject from the Users box. We do that simply by selecting the X on the right hand side. Since the development role is not mapped to either the Editors or Users section for this view, they can no longer see or edit the business view. So that's enough for now, we can save and close those changes. That's confirmed by a message. So the next change we need to make is to give the developers edit permission of our new view. So we head down to the actions menu for that view and choose manage permissions. Again you can see the defaults are in place for this view but we now want to add the development role to the list of editors so that all of our developers can edit the new view. To do this, we need to list all of the roles that exist in WSRR by clicking the Show All link. I could have simply entered a search, but there aren't too many roles here, so it's easy to find the development role. I add that to the list of editors just by dragging it from the research results into the editors box. Let's save those changes, clear the confirmation message, and now all of the developers in our organisation will be able to edit the new view. Let's go and check that now. So let's log in as a developer and see what they can do. First we'll need to log out the administrator user, and then log in as the developer. We're now logged in as the developer and he's being shown the development default view, but let's go and manage his views to see what he can and cannot do or see. We made the developer an editor for our new view, and this has happened as we would expect. We have an indicator here to show that we can edit that new view, but also notice that we removed his ability to view the business view, and sure enough, he can't even see it in the list of views. If I go to the view menu, it's also not available there, so he has no way of accessing that view. Let's just make sure that he can edit the new view. So we switch to that view, and sure enough, he has the ability to edit the page, delete the page, and in fact add widgets and everything else that you can do as an editor. I'm not going to make any changes at the moment, so I'll just cancel that. And let's just make sure that that is the only view he can edit. So if I switch back to the development view, can he edit this? No, there are no options for him to delete pages or edit the page. So this is all as we would expect. Now earlier, I did say that I would show you where the default permissions came from for the views that I've shown you so far. Let's do that now. So to do that, I need to be an administrator, so I need to log back in. This developer does not have access to the administrative settings in the configure menu, so let's log him out and log in our administrator. Now if we head up into the configure menu, we can see we have the administrative settings option back. So let's head in there and scroll down a little and you can see there is a section here labelled default permissions and this is in fact where the default editor and user permissions for all of the views 
will come from. So if you want to change what users or roles or groups can edit or view your new views that you create, this is where you would change that. And then any view you create will pick up the default permissions that you set here. There's one other setting available on the administrative settings page and that controls how restrictive you'd like the permissions in the dashboard to be by default. So this is a global setting and by default all users can customize the dashboard providing they have been added to the list of editors for a particular view. However you can override that and switch to only allow administrators to edit the views. Um, that will mean that even if you are in a list of editors for a view, if you're not an administrator, then you won't be allowed to edit that view. Let's now head back to the Manage Views page where I can demonstrate the final bit of functionality that I wanted to cover in this demo. And that's the ability to export and import views. This is useful if you want to move or migrate your views between multiple WSRR systems. So take my new view that we've created today for example. Let's export that now and to do that we head to the Actions menu and choose Export from the menu. This gives us a dialog that immediately allows us to save that view as a zip file that can then be used to import into another dashboard using this same Manage Views page. Let's show you how we would do that. So I'm just going to cancel that because I don't want to save the zip at this stage. Now if I had saved that zip, I would import it by heading to the Import View button here at the top and telling the system where to find my zip file. I would then hit Import View and my new view would appear in my list of views. It's really quite straightforward. It is worth mentioning as well that you can import zip files containing business space spaces from earlier releases of WSRR and they will be automatically migrated into the dashboard and accessible as you would expect. I hope that you found this demo useful and that you will enjoy using the dashboard in version 8.5 of WSRR. Thanks for listening.